What's that word, family? Hey, man, check this out. Brush, I apply the brush. Brush, brush, I apply the brush. Brush, brush, I apply the brush. Yeah, brush, brush, I apply the brush. The man charged with kidnapping and killing 10 year old Destiny Huggins near her Rockford home made his first court appearance today. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman was at the courthouse. She joins us live now with new details on this chilling case. Marissa? Yeah, Jim and Marie, new details laid out in court about this suspect, Antonio Monroe, and his lengthy criminal history involving multiple victims and multiple violent attempts. Saturday, Huggins and her younger sister were playing outside their Rockford home when police say this man, later identified as Antonio Monroe from Blue Island, grabbed them. Monroe now faces murder, attempted murder, and kidnapping charges. In court, prosecutors say he lured both girls to the backyard of this abandoned home, promising them money, and Huggins' six-year-old sister was choked, but managed to run away and alert her parents. Destiny couldn't escape. A canine officer used Destiny's scent to track down Monroe, who was a few blocks away, and made the arrest. Monroe's criminal history dates back to the late 90s. In court, prosecutors say he's now being investigated in connection to the death of a woman in Schaumburg. Monroe is also on the Illinois Sex Offender Registry, convicted of a sexual assault from 2010. In court, prosecutors say Monroe offered a 19-year-old woman a ride from an aquatic center and then raped her at knife point in an abandoned building in Peoria County. And just minutes ago, we learned more about that death investigation in Schaumburg. Schaumburg police now say on July 5th, a woman named Natalie Negre was found dead in the hotel room. No cause of death just yet, but police do say Antonio Monroe was with her before her body was discovered. Monroe is now in custody held on $5 million cash. We're live in Rockford. I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS. This story right here, man, uh, I don't like making these type of stories. Let me just explain that to the listener audience. But this story right here, it's nothing new. It goes on in the black community all the time. When I was younger, when I was a teenager, one of my friends was just like this nigga. A nigga I used to hang out with. You know what I'm saying? He was older than us, too. That was the crazy part. But a nigga I used to hang out with was convicted of murdering a child that was found in a goddamn garage that was sexually assaulted. A goddamn boy. To make it even worse, man. Yeah. I seen that nigga. I seen that nigga when I was uh, in the city. I was selling weed. And he came over with some motherfuckers, man, and they brought some weed and shit. I looked at his ass, man. Couldn't believe he was out. He murdered a child. But that's what goes on with the criminal justice system. They keep the real criminals on the streets to destroy our community and lock up the men that's just working a little harder, you know, selling a little cocaine on the side, a little weed. Lock those guys up and give them life. And niggas like this, they get to walk the street, man. Because this guy was a convicted sex offender from 2010. He had a lengthy criminal record. How did he get out? It's all by design, ladies and gentlemen. Um, rest in peace to 10-year-old Destiny Huggins. No one has to die like this, man. No one should die like this. That's just the honest truth. She was 10 years old. Didn't even get a chance to live her life. Protecting her younger sister, man. Her six-year-old sister got away from this pervert after being choked. This was a tragedy for the family. And... The little girl is going to need therapy. But imagine if this family would have lost both of their children. That happened in my family as well. I told y'all about it a couple of years ago. I'm not going to even go back into it. All right, so um, this guy's also been investigated for the death of another woman. Like I said, they keep the criminals in the community and they lock up the men. 
So once them hustlers get older, opening up businesses, they don't want that. Niggas, nigga, real hustlers open up businesses. They don't want that. They want the criminal element in the black community, man. Antonio Monroe shouldn't have never been out of prison. This is sad, man. Condolences to the family. Um, condolences for the child that was lost. I hope this son of a bitch rot in hell. If we have a hell. I hope he rots there. Whew. I'll be back later with more news and commentary. Peace. Fresh. I'm not a brush. Yeah, brush, brush. I'm not a brush.